surprise bonus episode for Man vs. Machine. I actually went and uh, was playing a lot of Man vs. Machine using the sn uh, sniper with the Huntsman, as you can see on the left there. And oddly enough, it's kind of overpowered. So I figured, hey, why not? Let's go ahead and play some Man vs. Machine with you guys as a bonus video to show you how to play with the Huntsman because it is kind of a different gameplay style altogether. Uh, for your weaponry, just to do what I'm doing here, you do need to have the Huntsman equipped. There's really no other thing about it. There's no other weapon that acts like the Huntsman. Um, for, mail for your secondary, I can recommend the Jurati or either the SMGs more for the Jurati just so it helps out your teammates. And for your melee, eh, go nuts with whatever you feel like you would have fun with. Just be wary of fire damage if you're using this one. And reduce damage if you use this one. I would say, I'd actually say don't worry about using the Tribalman Shiv because you're going to be doing enough bleed damage as it is with the Huntsman. And I'll show you why. So, first thing you want to do is you're going to grab some, uh, if you're using Dryer like me, you're going to want to grab some minus speed on target when, uh, for Jurati. If not, um, you're going to just want to come straight to bleed on target, which I'm going to put my other 200 in. And that's how that kind of starts off. You're just going to be starting off with that for now. Now, I know this is a bonus video, and I know I've said it a lot, but this is also going to be linked to the first video that shows all the different classes. So, for those of you that don't know how the Man vs. Machine works, basically, at the top, at the top middle, that's your that's what waves are going to be coming, punching heavies and scouts. And for the direction the bomb takes will be along this blue arrow here. Hi Pyro. Hi Pyro, and I'm getting some weird kind of lag. Quick cut. I fixed it. I believe. I don't know. Whenever I'm capturing the screen, it just likes to go there by me. Anyway. So, we're going to be here a while it seems, so I will see you at the start of the wave. Actually, no, um, I think there's one other thing I want to talk about. Uh, uh, the basic strategy with Huntsman Sniper is, starting out here, you will be pulling your shots back and charging up and then letting them go. But as time goes on, you're going to be doing, you're just going to be click spamming. So, that's just something I want to touch on quick. Anyway, I'll meet you at the start of this wave. Say goodbye to them now. Alright folks, now here we are at the start of the wave. Now starting out here, um, much like you would with a regular sniper rifle, you're actually going to want to pick your targets carefully and hit them. Those of you who haven't played with Huntsman, you don't get a scope, you just have to rely on your natural accuracy. So I'll write about this, except I have horrible aim. Now if you can hear that, the dinging sound, that basically means I'm causing these guys to bleed. Come on, hold on. Dang it, I missed. There, that's all I need. Just get some bleed on these guys. Uh, I suppose, um, for those of you that aren't aware of how the Huntsman works, you can still get headshots with it. It's just that it's a little harder to do because you don't have that exact accuracy. Anyway. Your Jurati will be used for Sentry Busters primarily. I miss the Sentry Buster altogether. Let's go ahead and refill. We'll solve the issue with metal and whatnot in the near future. Or with ammo, I should say. Oh god, this will get ugly quick. There we go. Make sure you are targeting bombs. There we go. Let's take care of them. Oop. I need some ammos. Now something to know about, I never even noticed this little shelf right here. Anyway. 
There you go, have some bleed. Oh, that's it. <laughs> did we get all the money? Yes, we did. So yes, those of you, again, those of you coming from the select a class menu, um, you are collecting credits on the ground in order to buy upgrades. If you get all the cre all the credits or money available in a wave, you will get a 100 credit bonus, which you'll use for more upgrades. So now we've gotten this far, you're going to want to invest in some reload speed. Above, well, I would, yeah, let's say, hmm, actually no. One of your most important upgrades, actually, and I'm sorry, I'm changing my mind on the fly because I've, I've done this a few times and it's just different every time Let's I do it, but big thing you're going to want to need is projectile penetration and then some bleed on target, but you're going to want that projectile penetration big time. So, the reason why, well, the reason why you want penetration is I'll have to look at the rewarding, but it seems like when you buy penetration with the Huntsman, it will penetrate every target it goes through, especially if it's a headshot. So, lol penetration. It's a sex joke, get it? Soda. So yes, you're still going to be want to be aiming your shots, but more or less you're going to want to be lining yourself up so you hit multiple targets with a single shot. Like this right here. I'm going to line it up so I hit a pyro and then a heavy. Oh, that was a terrible aim. See? Like I just, I don't know if you heard it, but I just hit like three people at once. Yeah, like that. So, don't underestimate Huntsman Sniper in this mode. Oh jeez. Come down here, big pyro. I wish to put bleed on you. Here, you can have all, all that. There we go, not too hard. Alright. Green is good. Have a bonus. Oh. I just noticed he was on fire. Anyway. So now now that we've gotten to this point, again, this is for those people that have um <clears throat> this is for those people that are coming here from the class selection menu, but I get to teach you about main waves and support waves. Now the main wave we're dealing with is a tank, which slowly moves along the course in order to drop a giant bomb, and then we'll have support waves of scouts and spies. Those will keep coming as the wave goes up, goes on, and, um, but <clears throat> the, but as soon as we get rid of the main focus, the tank, those waves will just die or disappear altogether. So, reload speed and save your money. When you play Huntsman Sniper, you're gonna want to save your money to get the b biggest boon for your buck. Boon, like I said, I like sniper. Big boon for your buck, mate. Anyway, go, go, go. now we're kind of getting to the point where we're spamming arrows. I mean, this is spent the others. So, I mean, there we go. I'm trying to hear it. Let's see, reload faster, spam arrows, and then just have it pass through multiple targets and whatnot. Y'all ready? We're under attack. Uh, stay around, metal. I might need you. Five, four, Figures, three, as soon as I ask two, it to stay, it leaves. One. Anyway. So, biggest thing you're going to want to do is you are going to want to pull back your air, your arrow string taut and shoot this because this is your a big force of damage from you. But don't bother going for more ammo if it's too far out of your way. Anyway, here, just a quick example of, of, of uh, spamming. I'm going to save a few arrows for if scouts come by. Like right now. Actually, let's touch it here. But again, for the most part, Okay, anyway. Oh, 
yeah, this is pretty much it. Just melee, melee uh, tank. Big old tank. So yeah, sorry that if you came from the class selection screen, there was no icon for picking the Huntsman Sniper, but I had to work with what I had. Woo! All bonuses so far. I like this Money Scout. Money Scout! So yes. So now I'll reload speed, and then your next biggest problem with being a sniper, with being a huntsman sniper, is your ammo capacity. Luckily, you have enough money to take care of that. So you want to see what our current ammo count is? Watch out! 31 arrows. And seeing as we have max reload speed, we're just going to be firing them all at well, for lack of a better word, rapid fire. These all penetrate. These all bleed. So. We're freaking sexy. Uh, and that was sexy too. So yes, um, that's pretty much the majority of... We've gotten actually a majority of our upgrades, so I'll meet you at the start of the wave when we get there if it doesn't start right now. Which actually I think is going to start in a second here because the deadline is just laying down his trap. Damn man, hurry up with your trap, man. Trapazar? Trapazoid? Zoidberg? Maytana, Maytana, Why not Zoid? Okay. Seriously, dude, are you gonna ready up? I'm gonna hit him with my frying pan until he readies up. The attack has started. He found the button. Now we'll be ha now Three, we're a bit two, vulnerable, but we'll also one. have a lot of fun with this wave. Get to it. Basically, you're just gonna be quick tapping the left click. We have soldiers coming down, but basically what we're gonna be doing is strafing around, quick tapping in general directions of enemies, and hoping that we, oh, every every now and again that some of them will line up with our enemy, with our targets. We died. That'll happen. But unfortunately with Huntsman Sniper you do have to get a bit closer to the battle and put yourself a bit more at risk. But we'll come back. Might be able to buy an upgrade too for Money Scout to... Ooh, might be able to buy an upgrade. Look out for that nope. Actually, yes. More bleeding. Haha! Anyway. Ooh, that was a lot of bleed damage on him. See, you can kind of see it in that little health symbol there, but he was losing health really quick from the, from the bleed. Whatever. I don't even care about what's going what else is going on. Get rid of this. That was it. That's that's simple, sweet, simple, and plain. Okay, 500 money. Now, this next part of the upgrade process, you can kind of choose. You can kind of choose what you prefer to do for your upgrades, and it's all gonna be focused into your bow and arrow. So, I personally. <clears throat> Excuse me. I personally tend to go for this da for damage, just additional damage, because it'll increase your bleed and it'll increase. It'll let you kill things much faster. Blah blah blah. I've said the story many times. Anyway, I'm gonna teleport up, and I guess I will meet you guys when the wa when the wave starts. So sorry about that. It took me a bit of a beating on the demo man's skull to get him ready up. So yes, um, I didn't talk about uh, giant robots yet, or super robots as some people will call them. Uh, we're dealing with giant demo man. We've dealt with giant pyros before. Um, usually they have. Most of the time they just have more health. But this time, oh dang, yo dang. <laughs> I got, I got messed up, but 
Um, with the demo man, they are not they are never really not a special classification, so to say. They'll always be um, rapid fire demo man, meaning they never have to reload. Keep keep wary of what certain special robots do. There, let's take care of him. And then focus on the tank. Now you can probably hear my mouse right now. Just click and click, 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 click. Well, this is the last thing we have to deal with in the wave, and there's no, uh, there's nothing else for wave, so we're just gonna be shooting, 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 and then whack it with your frying pan, or melee of choice at this point. I'm not even gonna leave the front of it. I'm just gonna sit right here and shoot. Done. Did we get it all? Yes, we did. Wow, that means a lot of damage. Now, hopefully I can take advantage of that, but... Yeah, that's full damage upgrade, and we can then go for a little bit of health on kill. Excellent. Makes my day happy. I don't know about you, but my day is happier. Anyway, so we're actually pretty much at that, at that point where I've gotten everything I need and we're all upgrading and whatnot, so I will go ahead and cut here and meet you at the start of our next wave. Okay, here we go, final wave. It's the final countdown. You might want to go look that song up by the way. It's, it's, an, it's a nice 80s rock tune. Sheesh. You came to learn how to play Man vs. Machine, instead you left with how, with, and you leave with what music is good. Let's go. So yes, as you can see at this point, I'm just trying to line their bodies up so I can hit them multiple times. And death. And death. Death? There it is. So, I'm gonna, so when I get back to, when I respawn, I'm going to get some more health on kill. This will help you molt somewhat, because if your bleed kills an enemy, that does count as you killing it too. So It allows you to stay up in the front a bit more. And if you can't already tell, explosive headshot is kind of a last thing. Oh, this is ending badly. Bleed damage! Well, it's not my bleed damage, that's a, that's a sentry working on him. Did that mini just get a kill? I think he did. Oh, light, light demo. There you go, health on kill right there. So I'm gonna go ahead, grab this these big piles of money, and this pile of money right here. So in order to keep up our good reputation. So uh, I'm just gonna fire these giant foes. Do one of these. Pop around the corner, hit hit them with a shot, and then run back in. There we go. Oh, we missed six dollars total this game. Hold on. So I'm just gonna stand here and spam these. Are you coming this way? Have fun with that sentry buster. Oh, I'm out of arrows. Oh well, we got this. Simple as cake. I like cake. It is in the bag. Just melee your heart out. Done. And that's designed to be a hunting sniper in this mode. Super simple. Could not be any. It could not be any uh, simpler for you people watching at home to, to try it. 
Six dollars overall, that's kind of depressing. Oh well. Anyway. So that's going to be it for Man vs. Machine. Um, as you've noticed with most of these videos, you can click the annotations below to visit to visit other classes. Uh, this is going to be a bonus. This will be bonus. This will be a bonus. And well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.